Good afternoon everyone. I hope you all can hear me. Please reply via chat box. Welcome to agricultureinformation.com webinar. Today we are going to interact with Mr. Ganesh Prajapat on current and future market of Gwargam. The format of the webinar will be as follows. I'll mute everyone in the audience except Mr. Ganesh Prajapat. Then Mr. Ganesh will make his presentation and after we listen to him, we can ask him our questions by typing in chat box in GoToMeeting or you can also email me at ed at agricultureinformation.com. I repeat ed at agricultureinformation.com. Then I will forward the questions sent by you and if we have time, I may unmute one or two members in the audience so that you can directly talk with Mr. Ganesh. Mr. Ganesh, I am unmuting you now. Please start your presentation. Hello. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes. And so, I am thankful to uh, agriculturalinformation.com for that they are providing some uh, time for this uh, Goa crop uh, for the cultivator. And the agriculture information is uh, doing a lot of uh, constructive work toward the agricultural development. I am again thankful to the agriculture information. First of all, I would like to uh, explain you about the crop, the goa. The goa is a main crop which is grown basically, especially in the western Rajasthan. And uh, in the world, the goa, Rajasthan, uh, the India contribute more than 70% of the goa of the world. The rest of the Gwar is being cultivated in Pakistan, that is around 18% and the neighboring area of the Rajasthan. In, the, in India, the most uh, the Gwar cultivating state are your Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana and Punjab. So Raj, these states contribute around 80% of the Gwar of the world. The last two or three years we are seeing a, a lot of uh, up and down in the Gwar prices. The Gwar is being used in India since a long and this is used in different different industry, your printing industry, food processing industry. Right now the demand has been increased from the oil and natural gas industry. In the oil and natural gas industry there is a one process by the name of fracking process. In the fracking process the Gwar work as a hydrocolloid gel forming agent. This agent work, this is useful to carry the chemicals up to the last level of this oil well and again drain out the metal from the oil well. So the right now the oil and natural gas companies are using the huge of guargum powder in their ventures. As the energy requirement is increasing day by day, that's why the demand of guargum is also increasing day by day. The last two years we are saying we are saying that uh, we saw that the price of the Gwargam was around 30,000 uh, from 30, uh, 10,000 rupees per quintal to 1 lakh rupees per, tinkura, per quintal and the Gwar seed rate was around 3,000 rupees per quintal to 30,000 rupees per quintal. This was just because of the uneven demand and uh, supply because the uh, supply chain management of the Gwar crop was breakdown just because of the stock list and some volatile or some speculating type of the activity. So, the, the, traditionally the Gwar is grown in a very small area and, but the scope is increasing day by day that's why the demand is increasing and due to this demand the people are stocking the Gwar. Uh, right now the, dem uh, the, the this demand is uh, diversifying the Gwar cultivation area and a new uh, Gwar cultivation area is coming in the world even in the uh, out of India or even in the out of Rajasthan. Out of, uh, if I talk about the India in India, the new area from the Maharashtra, your Tamil Nadu, your Andhra Pradesh, it is also coming in the Madhya Pradesh, in Gujarat, the Gujarat, yes, already the Gwar, the Gwar is being uh, grown in the Gujarat, but some area, new area is being developed in the Gujarat. So, there is a very, uh, the demand will be increasing time to time, the Gwar gum, and the Gwar is giving a very good uh, return to the farmer in the western Rajasthan space. This is a very low extensive uh, crop, it doesn't require any too much extensive to the cultivation of the Gowar crop. 
mostly this uh, Goar uh, the go from the Goar from the Goar seed is being derivated and the further Goar seed is processed into the Goar gum and other two derivatives by the name of the Goar Corma and the Goar Mint. The Goar Corma and Goar Mint both products are used in the cattle feed industry. That is also very highly uh, protein product and uh, there is also huge demand from this uh, dairy industry and poultry industry, fishing industry. If I talk about only the Goar gum industry, the Goar gum industry the demand is also increasing from this uh, food processing industry, your uh, painting industry, painting industry, textile industry and uh, the new demand is also being uh, generated from this oil and natural gas industry. So as per mar the current market is concerned, just because of this speculation activity there is a, there was a very up and down in this Goar price. So the, the, the Goar manufacturers are diversifying toward the, toward the new area. So the new area of the Goar cultivation are coming day to day. If I think of, if I talk about the future market of the Goar gum, the future market of Goar, Goar gum will be increasing very fastly, drastically. The new area of the pricing are coming from the even, even Middle East. Uh, the new area is being uh, coming in European countries. They are also starting the fracking industry. The Chinese, Chinese also start starting the fracking industry. Even Australia is also starting the fracking industry. The whole the fracking industry, Guadalajara is a very important part. So now the question is the, the, there is a lot of up and down in the Guadalajara rates. So now question is this the, how this rate will be stabilized. So the basis the uh, the currently. There are very only few traders in this war industry just because of the speculating activity they are doing up and down, regularly up and down in the Guar gum rates. And even in the forward marketing like NCDX, MCX, the rate is daily being going up and going down. There is a lot uh, regularly there is up circuit and lower circuits. And this but right now the rate are being stabilized. Last month, uh, the last week, the FMC, the Forward Marketing Commission, has been issued a notice to this uh, speculative type of activity, and the rate is being uh, coming to the stabilization of this rate. So, last one year, the rate was stabilized around 10,000 rupees per quintal, but we are expecting this the rate will be stabilized something around 5,000 to 6,000, 7,000 rupees per quintal, and that is a very good rate for the, uh, the farmers. Do you have any questions? Yeah, thanks Hello. Mr. Ganesh for the informative talk. Audience, please start your questions now by typing in chat box. So, what is the reason for price fluctuation? Hi, Mr. Rakesh Agrawal, thank you. The, the first question of price fluctuation. The price fluctuation are basically the, the, the there are three reasons behind the price fluctuation. The first reason was the immediate demand from the oil and natural gas industry. There was a totally new demand. Earlier the guara was very being used in very small quantity. But in oil and natural gas industry, the guar is used in a bulk quantity and people started to stock the material. Even the oil, the companies which is providing this oil, uh, this uh, fracking services to the oil and natural gas industry, these companies stock the huge quantity of this guar gum uh, for their future users. And that activity lead a wrong message to the producer, and the producers uh, increase the rates. So right now, I am not I am not getting any uh, speculating. I am not seeing any speculating activity in this market, and the rates are stabilized. Okay, sir. So Kishore wants to know what is the yield per acre, and what is the current market price. The today's market price is around uh, 5,000 rupees, uh, 5,500 uh, 5, rupees per quintal, okay. or per, uh, per quintal or per 100 kg you can say. And as per the yield is concerned, the per acre you can get around uh, 7 to 8 quintal of uh, Goa seed per acre. Okay. Kishore and Rakesh, please continue asking questions. Uh, I am again coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Please continue. I, I am again coming. The reason behind this uh, the price flexion. The, this was the first reason. The second reason was there was some uh, 
political activity. <laughs> Some people are form a political group and they start to uh, message in the market that they, they should not sell the metal in the market. So that activity also led to the price, uh, some high uh, fluctuations in the price, mm -hmm. especially in the Guar growing belt. Okay. Sir, Rakesh wants to know, do you think that the demand may suddenly go down also? What is the guarantee for a farmer that his produce will be consumed? Yes. You know, there are two things. There is one thing is that is the increasing the demand and the fluctuations. The fluctuation is the activity which is done by this uh, trader or speculator or stockist. But as the demand is concerned, the demand will be increasing because the requirement of the energy, the oil and natural gas is increasing day by day. And the, the activity, the fracking industry, the oil companies are getting very cheaper gas, natural gas. And you know that the, the demand will be, the demand of the oil and natural gas will be increasing and that's why this uh, demand of this guargum will also increase in the future. And the new activity of fracking, because right now the fracking activity is only being done only in USA. Uh, the slowly and slowly it is coming to Canada, it is also coming in China, it is also coming in uh, Europe and uh, you will be happy to know that uh, even Indian government has also approved the fracking, in this, uh, the fracking process. So my two persons will be also seeing the fracking process in India in coming five or six years. Okay. So what is the shell life of seeds in storage? Uh, the shelf life of the seed in the natural or hygienic condition in nature without any moisture and uh, without any some uh, insect pest uh, infested condition you can store the seed easily up to three to four years. Okay. And so which is profitable, the guar as a vegetable or sold as seeds? You know, the guar as a vegetable is a, will provide you the regular income because the farmer is also having some regular expenses, daily expenses. So he can cover up his daily expenses with the, the guar regime. Vegetable. So vegetable is not <laughs> too much uh, profitable because right now the every people doesn't consume the everyday guar. For example, I am a uh, end user, I am a customer, so every day I am not going to consume the guar uh, vegetable. So might be possible that there is some market for the guar vegetable also, but the farmer should be mainly focused only on this uh, guar seed. Yes, he can also cover up his daily expenses with the guar uh, vegetable, because the guar is only three months crop, so you can't say that uh, this uh, three month vegetable, the three months is sufficient for vegetable. In the three months only, one and a half month is uh, the vegetable is being produced only one and a half month. Last 15 days, the first 15 days is for vegetable production. The last uh, one and uh, the one month is for uh, the ripening of the crop. Okay. And sir, Kishore also wants to know what is the price of vegetable? The price of vegetable also <laughs> fluctuates with the rate of the guan seed. Uh, that right now the vegetable price is around to 30 to 40 rupees per kg. The green vegetable. And that is also very good price. Okay. And sir, Rakesh wants to know, 5k to 6k quintal is the rate for raw produce or processed gum? Yeah. No, this 5k to 6k quintal is the rate of raw product. Uh, I'm not getting uh, exactly what you want to know, the raw produce. This raw produce is guar seed. Yes, for the cultivation of the guar seed, the cost, the cost of production is around only 1,000 to 2,000 rupees per quintal only. Okay. 1,000 rupees, so, yeah, yeah, 1,000 yeah. is maximum, 1,000 rupees per quintal. Uh, Rakesh, I have unmuted you. You can ask your question directly with Mr. Ganesh. Okay. Uh, thank you. Mr. Ganesh, uh, my question was uh, the raw produce, uh, the 5,000 or 6,000 rupees per quintal that a farmer sells. Uh, that is the uh, price that he gets for the raw produce or uh, a farmer has to do some processing also? No, no. For farmer, this is the price of the raw produce. The farmer has to just dry up this crop and just he has to this uh, segregate the seed from this uh, uh, crop part just like your wheat, your rice and other crops. This normal process. He doesn't okay. need to process it. Okay, I think uh, Kishore has asked uh, the next question that I
Yeah. Is there any bulk buyers for a 10 acre crop nearing harvest? Uh, bulk, as per the bulk buyer is concerned, because you know, uh, I'm not, uh, because the, uh, the crop is being uh, started, I'm, uh, first of all, I would like to know the uh, area of the cultivation. If I talk about the area of cultivation from Rajasthan, Haryana or some Guar growing guys, so this is not uh, very hard work to sell this Guar seed at any time, you can sell the material at any time. If I talk about this, your uh, southern uh, states like your Tamil, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, if I talk about there, so before selling the metal you should have some one truckload metal so that you can easily contact with the factory on some processing industry even I can also provide some uh, processor also no problem if the farmer you know, face any problem in selling the guar seed I can help him so it's in Tamil Nadu sir in Tamil Nadu if it's in Tamil Nadu then he has to do one thing only even no because the guar is not only used in this guar gum manufacturing industry the guar is also used in this cattle feed industry he can sell off, initially he can sell out his metal to the cattle feed industry and the, and the next thing he can also sell out his metal to the fish feed industry because the fishing industry is very good in Tamil Nadu and in third he can also sell out his metal to the this, your poultry feed industry. So Goar is not only used in this uh, oil and natural gas industry, that is the, this is the last use of this Goar seed. The first use of the Goar seed is for the Greek, uh, the Goar is also used for the green manure purpose to increase the productivity of our land. The guar is also used for this green vegetable. Guar is also used for cattle feed. Even though it is a very rich in nutrient, the rich, uh, rich in protein or all those things, if you give this uh, uh, guar seed to your cattle, definitely they, you, the milk will be increasing. Okay. And so where to get the seeds from? Uh, seed uh, normally the, the uh, farmers should go for uh, some information from the agriculture department, the local agriculture department. If local agriculture department is not assisting them, then they should uh, go for some certified seed or some uh, good company, uh, seed from the very, very good uh, manufacturer. They should not go for this uh, seed from the open market because the open market, there might be some uh, uh, bad quality material or there can be some weeds or insect attacks. So if they, uh, the, uh, the seed should be treated, well treated before sowing. So if uh, they can contact with any company in Rajasthan, Gujarat or Haryana if they are facing the problem in getting the seed they can ask him I can uh, introduce them with some uh, Goa seed seller so definitely he will be getting the seed no problem. Okay. So please share your mail ID and contact number via chat box. Okay. Yeah. This is my mail ID. You can contact this uh, to this mail ID. You can also uh, read my uh, daily article on this blog. Okay. This is my contact number, you can contact me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and what is the best time to grow the guar? Uh, normally the guar is uh, grown only in the monsoon period. For the uh, cultivation area starts from June, July. Up to the June, July and August is the best time for the guar growing. And uh, the next uh, two or three months, for example, are September, October and so your August, September, October the guar crop can be easily grow in this very good field and in, so the good time for guar cultivation is your before the monsoon period because the guar crop requires some humidity in the environment for the growing purpose and it also requires some moisture, natural moisture or natural rainfall before the sowing. Okay. So is there any trading hubs in MP also? In MP, yes, I can, uh, because I'm not sure about the trading hub, the exact name of the trading hub, but uh, the, is, it is being sold in indoor uh, very well. Okay. And so do you provide consultancy in Guar seed and Guar gum production? Yes, I provide the consult for the uh, farmers. I provide the free of uh, cost consultancy. They can ask me at any time, no problem. I mm -hmm. can 
I reply them and I can assist them free of course I don't take any charge from the farm and if someone want to do some commercial cultivation of bar definitely that is chargeable as per the time consuming. Okay. So what is the I mean how much time it needs to grow the crop? The crop uh, can be easily the 90 to 120 days and uh, the early varieties can be easily uh, cultivated within 90 days but some where late variety and good variety they take around 110 to 120 days. Okay. And how many crops can be done per year? And normally natural condition in our current guar growing belt is uh, one crop can be taken but if someone is also having some alternate the irrigation he can also one crop in uh, from the month of March to April he can also do the cultivation from March to April and then he will be getting the crop in the month of June to July and again August he can also go for the cultivation. Okay. Uh, members please continue asking questions. And sir, what is the high yield variety of uh, gu uh, guar gum? There is some, there is one variety by the name of RGC9 because the guar is, the all the varieties of the guar is selection varieties. They are only selected with their physical characteristics. So okay. right now there is only hybrid variety but uh, there are some variety which is launched by some agriculture research institute and agriculture university, Rajasthan agriculture university that is RGC. R for Rajasthan, GG for Gujarat, CC for Chandigarh or Chennai, RGC 936, 936. That is also very good variety that mature within 90 to 100 days and it uh, give production around uh, 9, 9 to 10 quintal per acre. Mm -hmm. And there is also one HG 365. And X2 variety is also very good. That is launched by Haryana Agriculture University. That is very good variety. Okay. So, what can be the subsequent crop apart from guar gum? Uh, after the guar gum, sorry. Subsequent mean after the guar gum. After the guar crop, you can cultivate the, any crop, but the because the guar crop will be enriched the nitrogen if you're far in your farm. And any crop which requires a high nitrogen, you can cultivate that crop and definitely I am sure, I'm sure that after the guar crop and without the guar crop, the productivity will be increasing after the guar crop around 15 to 20 percent of any crop. Because this is the way it, it will increase the nitrogen of the soil and it will also increase the biological activity of the soil. Okay. The so guar is not a useless crop. Mm -hmm. Each and every part of the guar is being useful. Its root zone is used for in the nitrogen of the uh, farm. Its leaves are used for the fodder purpose of this cattle. Its the pods are used for uh, this making the vegetable. Pods are also used for this uh, making the fodder for the cattle. And the seed are used for this uh, cattle feed, you know, for the uh, extracting the guar gum. So each and every part of guar, uh, the crop is useful. And each and every stage is also useful. If you just mix the guar crop within the soil after the one fifteen to one month, so the in the nitrogen of the soil will be increased. The guar is also used a green manure, which increases the nutrient efficiency of the farm. Okay. So Kishore wants to know: Is paddy recommended? Uh, paddy is recommended, but uh, question is that the paddy. You can't cultivate the guar in the same field where you go for the caddy, paddy. Mm -hmm. Because the paddy is cultivated uh, mostly in this uh, uh, water, uh, more water, uh, water irrigation belt where, where the water is sufficient. So the, uh, I don't recommend for the uh, guar crop for those areas because uh, this, uh, the guar requires very sandy, sandy type of soil or it should be very light soil, it doesn't require any heavy soil. In the heavy soil, the aeration in the root zone will be uh, occur very less and that activity will be uh, adverse, uh, put adverse effect on the production. Okay. Audience, any questions? Okay, what can be the next subsequent crop? Uh, I have just applied the next subsequent crop you can go for the uh, in northern India the people uh, normally go for this uh, rapeseed or mustard they are also going for a uh, groundnut 
they are also going for uh, this uh, wheat and in southern india you can go for this cotton also okay uh, i think kishore is from tamil nadu is it am i right kishore yeah so according to tamil nadu i mean what should be the next subsequent crop you would suggest uh, uh, so kishore do one thing you can email me i will revert your query with the uh, uh, no, proper uh, a research because i have to find out uh, the what is the subsequent crop which is grown in the rabi period in tamil nadu area so i will give you the exact answer at that time okay yeah kishor vani uh, from varnika herbs or the rakesh agarwal you have any questions any further questions okay kishor would you like to discuss something else okay uh so i i hope there are no more questions okay rakesh wants to know what does your company do uh basically we are us based mnc and we are also focused especially in the gwar business and uh, we are consulted mostly on the supply chain management of the gwar seed we want to men make your we want to build this uh, system so that the supply chain of the gwar should not be interrupted in this adverse condition and we are in the, also in the research and development of this guar seed we are trying to develop some new varieties in this uh, guar seed especially for the for the cultivation different different area we are also taken trial out of india we are taking trial in uh, african country tanzania uh, russia in argentina in australia in china and the trial is being conducted uh, also conducted in one in indonesia so we are diversifying for di globalizing this guar crop and we also we are also in manufacturing of this uh, guar gum powder we with the input of the oil and natural gas industry we are uh, doing the r&d to increase the quality of this uh, guar gum powder so that uh, it can be highly used highly recommended highly used as per the oil and natural gas industry what are the requirement and all those and we are also focus on this cattle feed industry the we are getting the regular demand from the cattle feed industry to increase the con, uh, protein content and density of this uh, guar seed so that uh, we can uh, apply this guar seed in cattle feed uh, very well in cattle feed industry also okay uh, we are also nasdaq nasdaq listed company mm -hmm. uh, we have just started our operation in, you know, in india okay so does your company sell research seeds as well Uh, we are in the process because we are uh, not uh, too much uh, old company. We have just started our operation. Our primary focus is to develop the uh, quality of the guar seed, then develop the quality of this guar gum powder, then develop the model of the guar gum supply. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rakesh, so we can provide you the yes. Rakesh, any further questions? Okay, where do you buy the guar seeds? Um, we are developing our own channel. We are directly uh, making a group of farmer. With the help of group of farmer, we are uh, providing them uh, knowledge and technology to the farmer. As per our uh, guidance, the farmer cultivate the guar seed, and we will we have plan to purchase the seed directly from the farmer. Okay. He also wants to know: Do you buy from the open market or from farmers? uh the in the initial stage we are uh, only focus on, on this uh, for our group of farmers because in the open market we don't want to create any again the same condition okay we don't want to tell the market we just want to purchase only from our trusted supplier or trusted growers so that the quality can be easily maintained and there should not be vacuum in the market okay so what are the requirements for a farmer to join your group and uh, though we uh, first of all uh, we develop our territory or we develop our cluster as per availability of the guar seed for example in some area we are getting around uh, 500 to 1000 acre of the land for the cultivate of, of the farmer to cultivate the guar seed so it should be easy to transport it should be easy to 
monitor those farmer for because our regular staff go to their farm and they visit. If someone is interested from southern India, he can contact us. We can also develop our cluster in southern India also, so that uh, they can also get the very good quality material, and they, we can also they can also directly associate with us, and they will be uh, they will they they will not face any problem at the marketing side of the guava seed. Okay. But uh, at least there should be area around a uh, thousand acre acre of area. Okay. Oh, I, I think uh, one more member has arrived. Okay, sir. Do you have a network in North India? Ah, uh, Northern India. Yes, we are. We are. We have developed our network. We have developed our network, and we will be expanding our network up to the each and every guar growing area. So mm -hmm. this is our which is some company policy. I can go for that, but just yes, sure we are developing our network. Okay. Kishore, Rakesh from Vanika Herbs, any questions? Uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, name called Hi, someone joined. May I know who is this? Yeah, Ashok Kumar, do you have any query? Mr. Ashok Kumar, do you have any query? No, ma'am. Okay. So this is a very good platform. Everyone should be use this platform free of course. They are providing, you are providing a platform to the farmers. Yeah. So, okay, sir. So I hope for time being there are no more questions. And if the audience has any further questions, please visit agricultureinformation.com under online education in webinar thread. And uh, you can post your question under this link and continue the discussion directly with Mr. Ganesh. And uh, meanwhile, I also request audience, please fill this form. Please spare a minute to fill this form. And I would also like to inform the audience that recording of this talk will be uploaded in webinar thread of our discussion forum. Uh, please wait for a minute. Okay, before ending this meeting, I would also like to inform uh, that you can visit our site for agriculture products. If you are looking for any agriculture products, please do visit our site. And I would like to thank Mr. Ganesh and audience for joining us. This is an event organized by agricultureinformation.com. Please visit our webinar thread under the online education section for updates on forthcoming events. Thanks, Mr. Ganesh, and for so informative talk. Oh, okay, thank, thank you, ma'am. I will. I would also like to say that if you have any question, if you have any uh, query regarding this guar seed cultivation from the any grower, I would happy to reply them free of cost. I will not I'm going to charge anything from them. Yeah, thank you, sir. So they can. Eat. Yeah. They can easily ask now. Yeah. Yeah, under this link, uh, they all can post their questions and uh, we can take their queries. So I'll be closing this meeting now. Have a nice day, everyone.